Welcome back. Thanks for staying with us for the news at 430. I'm Amber Diaz. And I'm Kevin Nathan. There is a growing concern in the way of mosquitoes and the threat they may pose, and it's causing concern here in New England. All that after a man in New Hampshire died by Tripoli, a rare but severe mosquito-borne illness. NBC Connecticut's Melissa Cooney tells us what you should know about mosquitoes this summer. They're hard to see and hard to avoid. When it gets to be dust time, we start putting on the insect repellent. You see a lot of puddles all along the place, and uh, as you walk, they'll buzz you a couple times. This summer, experts say mosquitoes are especially active with the humid, wet weather. There is elevated risk for the, for the virus this year uh, compared to previous years. Um, the good news is we haven't seen any human cases here in Connecticut but it's still early. Scientist Philip Armstrong says people should be aware of two mosquito diseases, Triple E and West Nile. Triple E is unpredictable and not in Connecticut every year. So far, five towns have had positive mosquitoes for it in the eastern part of the state. Armstrong emphasizes Triple E is severe, but very rare. If you're exposed, your immune system might take care of it. Others will have mild symptoms and others will react very severely to it. Symptoms include a headache or high fevers. Simply by limiting the number of mosquito bites will go a long way. Armstrong says West Nile has similar symptoms found in 30 eight towns throughout the state and one human case. Now it's not as lethal as triple E and is more common, but it's still a concern. The mosquitoes that transmit triple E virus are most active between dusk and dawn. And so limiting your time outside during those periods of the day will also uh, limit your exposure. And even though it's hot out, one way you can protect yourself, especially when you're outside, is wearing long sleeves when you recreate. In West Hartford, Melissa Cooney, NBC Connecticut News. No one has tested positive for Tripoli in Connecticut as yet. The state is taking action to hopefully prevent the spread of the virus. Tomorrow night, the state's Department of Energy and Environmental Protection will spray for mosquitoes in the Mount Misery area of Patchogue State Forest. Deep says mosquitoes carrying Tripoli have been found in Canterbury, Ledger, North Stonington, Sterling, and Valentown.